Hey there! Welcome or welcome back. Today, we have an essential and informative topic to discuss, boosting blood flow, recognizing the 10 signs of poor circulation. Your circulatory system plays a pivotal role in maintaining overall health, and understanding the signs of poor circulation is crucial for taking proactive steps towards a healthier you. If you've been experiencing any of these symptoms or simply want to optimize your blood flow, you're in the right place. And together, let's explore the signs of poor circulation and the solutions to boost your blood flow naturally. Before we dive into the signs, let's take a moment to understand the importance of blood circulation. Your circulatory system, consisting of your heart and blood vessels, acts as a transportation network throughout your body. It's responsible for delivering oxygen and essential nutrients to every cell, tissue, and organ while removing waste products and carbon dioxide. A healthy circulatory system is like a well-organized delivery service that ensures your body's functions run smoothly. Now, let's focus on recognizing the signs that may indicate poor blood circulation in your body. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional for proper evaluation and guidance. What is blood circulation? Before we dive into the signs, let's take a moment to understand the importance of blood circulation. Your circulatory system, consisting of your heart and blood vessels, acts as a transportation network throughout your body. It's responsible for delivering oxygen and essential nutrients to every cell, tissue, and organ while removing waste products and carbon dioxide. A healthy circulatory system is like a well-organized delivery service that ensures your body's functions run smoothly. The significance of healthy blood flow cannot be emphasized enough. Firstly, it ensures that your organs receive the necessary oxygen and nutrients they need to function optimally. Picture your organs as hard-working employees, and blood as their energy supply. When circulation is compromised, these vital organs don't receive sufficient energy, leading to potential malfunctions and health issues. Additionally, robust blood circulation supports your immune system. Immune cells travel through your bloodstream, constantly patrolling for invaders. When your blood flow is efficient, these immune cells can reach affected areas more quickly, aiding in the body's defense against infections and diseases. Another crucial aspect is temperature regulation. Blood carries heat, helping your body maintain a stable internal temperature. During cold weather, blood vessels constrict to conserve heat, while in warm weather, they dilate to release heat and cool down your body. Furthermore, efficient blood flow is essential for detoxification. Blood carries waste products to organs responsible for elimination, such as the kidneys and lungs. A healthy circulatory system helps these organs do their job effectively, preventing harmful buildup in your body. If you resonate with any of these signs, don't worry. There are steps you can take to improve your blood circulation and overall health. Now, let's focus on recognizing the signs that may indicate poor blood circulation in your body. 1. Cold hands and feet. Do you often find your extremities feeling chilly, even in warm weather? Cold hands and feet can be a sign of reduced blood flow to these areas. When circulation is compromised, less warm blood reaches your hands and feet, leading to a persistent sensation of coldness. 2. Numbness and tingling. Persistent numbness or tingling sensations, particularly in your hands, feet, or limbs, could be indicative of nerve and circulation issues. These sensations may range from mild to severe and may come and go. The tingling feeling occurs when nerves don't receive adequate blood flow, impairing their normal function. 3. Swollen feet and ankles. Swelling in the lower extremities, such as the feet and ankles, might be a result of fluid retention due to poor blood circulation. When blood flow slows down, fluids may accumulate in your tissues, leading to visible swelling in these areas. This condition is commonly known as edema. 4. Fatigue and weakness. Generalized fatigue and weakness can be caused by reduced blood flow. When your organs and muscles don't receive sufficient oxygen and nutrients, they may struggle to function optimally, resulting in feelings of tiredness and weakness. 5. Slow healing of wounds. If you notice that cuts, bruises, or wounds take longer to heal than usual, it could be an indication of compromised blood circulation. Proper blood flow is essential for delivering the healing elements needed for tissue repair. When circulation is hindered, the body's ability to regenerate damaged tissue is impeded, 
leading to delayed healing times. 6. Skin Changes Pay attention to changes in your skin, such as paleness, blueness, or persistent redness. Poor circulation can affect skin color and texture in the affected areas. Paleness may occur due to reduced blood flow and oxygen delivery, while bluish or reddish discoloration may indicate that the blood is not adequately oxygenated. 7. Varicose veins. Enlarged, bulging veins, known as varicose veins, are often associated with poor blood circulation. These veins may appear blue or purple and are commonly found on the legs and thighs. Varicose veins occur when blood pools in the veins due to weakened vein walls and faulty valves, hindering blood flow back to the heart. 8. Hair loss. Reduced blood flow to the scalp can contribute to hair loss or thinning. Hair follicles rely on an adequate supply of nutrients and oxygen carried by the bloodstream to grow and maintain healthy hair. When circulation to the scalp is compromised, hair follicles may weaken, leading to hair loss. 9. Slow nail growth. Healthy nail growth relies on sufficient blood flow to the nail beds. Slow or brittle nail growth may be linked to circulatory problems. If your nails are not receiving the necessary nutrients and oxygen, they may become weak and grow more slowly than usual. 10. Muscle cramps. Frequent muscle cramps, especially in your calves, can be a sign of poor blood flow. The lack of proper nutrients and oxygen to the muscles can lead to cramping and discomfort. Muscles need an adequate supply of blood to function correctly, and when circulation is impaired, muscle cramps may occur more frequently. Now that we've explored the signs of poor circulation, let's move on to the solutions. Incorporating these lifestyle changes can help boost blood flow and promote overall well-being. Stay active and exercise regularly. Regular physical activity is one of the best ways to enhance blood circulation. Exercise gets your heart pumping and helps strengthen your heart muscle. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, like brisk walking, swimming, or cycling, most days of the week. It not only improves blood flow but also supports your cardiovascular health. Maintain a healthy diet. A well-balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins provides essential nutrients that contribute to good blood flow. Foods like garlic, leafy greens, nuts, and fish contain compounds that promote circulation and help keep your blood vessels healthy. Hydration is key. Stay hydrated throughout the day. Water helps maintain the volume of your blood, making it easier for your heart to pump and circulate it effectively. Aim to drink plenty of water, and limit excessive consumption of caffeine and alcohol, as they can dehydrate your body. Quit smoking. If you're a smoker, quitting is one of the best things you can do for your circulatory system. Smoking damages your blood vessels, making them more prone to blockages and reducing blood flow. Seek support and resources to kick the habit and improve your overall health. Manage stress. Chronic stress can have negative effects on your circulation. Practice stress-reducing techniques such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, yoga, or spending time in nature. Finding what relaxes you is essential for your mental and physical well-being. Remember, a healthy circulatory system is a vital component of overall health and well-being. By adopting these lifestyle changes and incorporating movement into your day, you're taking important steps towards optimizing your blood flow and supporting your body's natural processes. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health and wellness content. Thanks for watching and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.